Hey guys, I am so sorry I haven't filmed a video in a really long time. Now, I actually have a device I can film on other than my camera. So, because I just got a new iPod today, and that is what I'm filming on at the moment. So, yeah, that's why my filming is probably better than it was, except when I filmed on my mom's iPhone. Anyways, today, as you can probably tell from the title, um... This video is about why and how I got my snake. So, we're going to start with the why I got my snake. So, the reason why I got this buddy was because um, I'd been begging and begging my parents for a pet. Not necessarily a snake, but I am very pleased that they did get me a snake. But, uh, um, yeah, I was just kind of begging them for some kind of reptile. It was always a reptile. Snake, turtle, lizard. It was always a reptile. But I was kind of outrageous with my thoughts, you know. First, I wanted a reticulated python. But if you don't know what a reticulated python is, let me just shorten it up for you. They grow to be 20 feet long. That's all I'm going to say. Like, that's partially, like, so... Yeah, I, was been ba I had been begging and begging my parents for a reptile, and then Christmas was coming up, and all I wanted for Christmas was a snake, and they were just like, okay, since she doesn't want anything else, we're going to get her a snake. So that is basically why they got me the snake, but they, they also got me him because they knew I wanted a reptile, and they said they were going to get him for me even if it wasn't Christmas. They said he was. they were going to get him from, for me. So I, I have very great parents. I have super nice parents uh, to get me such a cute and nice animal. So basically, uh, my parents got me the cage for Christmas. And then from Mr. Clint Snake Man, if you haven't heard of him, I'm going to... Uh, you should probably go check him out. He's uh, he's amazing. He does snake parties and stuff. Um, I first found my love for snakes at my eight-year-old birthday party um, because I had Mr. Clint come with all his snakes. And I first found a love for ball pythons then. I didn't even, like, I liked all of his other, I liked all of his other snakes, but I just found a particular love for ball pythons. And after that, you know, kind of, I just kind of wanted a ball python. Not really any other kind of snake, but a ball python in particular. And, and that's when I started begging my parents for reptiles because I, I knew, I thought they weren't going to get me. I strongly thought that they were not going to get me a snake because my mom did not like mice. Like, my mom is okay with mice, but she doesn't like the fact that we have to have frozen dead animals in our freezer so my mom was like no we're not getting a snake and then <laughs> after they got me the snake I was like mom so you changed your mind about having um mice in the freezer well actually she had said that we weren't getting a, ma a snake it, unless I got my own freezer <laughs> for the snakes I mean for the mice and I was like, yeah, no, that's not happening. So I'm probably not, not getting a snake. I didn't realize she was actually joking. But, uh, yeah, but she does hate, she does still hate the fact that we have to feed him, we have to keep dead mice in our freezer. Because she, when when they got him, when my, when my parents decided to get him for me, they didn't really think about the fact that, uh, yeah, they would have to keep frozen mice in their freezer. They just kind of thought about the fact, like, oh, she wants a snake. We're going to be really nice and give her a snake. And so that's, that's, that's why I got him. Now on to how I got him. Okay, so how I got him is actually a pretty interesting story. So we were going to get this adult, female adult ball python named Brokenback. The reason her name was Broken Back was because she had a broken back and they couldn't use her in her program in their programs, so they were trying to so they were trying to find a nice forever home for her. 
So they were like, okay, we can give you broken back. And then they were like, oh, wait. Like the next day they were like, wait, we have a baby snake for you, which is this guy. And we would like to you to come check him out. So we the next day we went and checked him out. And he was the cutest, sweetest snake. So that night we took him home. And ever since, so that is how I got my snake. He is trying to wrap around me. I don't even know where he's going. Wait, let's, let's see. Oh, you're going in my bed, aren't you? Where is he? Oh, there's his head. Okay. So basically, that's how I got him and why I got him. So I hope you like this. I guess this is like a story time. Oh, okay. Oh, guys, do you want to see this catastrophe? Y'all see him in the corner there. It's all wrapped around my bed. Baby, you're going to have to unwrap from there. Yeah. I got you. I got you. I got you. Oh. Baby, you got to unwrap yourself. Ugh. Ugh. Baby, you got to unwrap yourself. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> that was interesting. Anyways, yeah, if y'all have any questions about snakes or anything, just comment down below what y'all would like to know about snakes. And I might be getting another snake, but probably not anytime soon because my parents are still like, okay, we just got you a snake. No more reptiles for a while. I do rescue and release uh, uh, animals, small animals like... Uh, lizards and other strange animals like that so if it's a rescue and release animal if you I know this may sound weird but I ha I rescue and release any animals bugs anything um, I res recently did a rescue and release of a grasshopper I know that sounds weird but this grasshopper was seriously injured he couldn't even walk properly he couldn't he barely could he could not hop he couldn't walk so we had to hand feed him, hand water him. We had to do everything by hand. So, and at night we would put him in his hut, in his little hut he had in his cage. And then one day we found him, he was perfectly hopping and everything, and we let him go. So I have done this with cicadas, other animals like that. Uh, I, I, most, most often we find animals stuck in our pool that seriously need help that have been stranded in that, in our pool for who knows how long and they, they seriously need help. So if you want to start helping animals and stuff, if you want to figure out a way to help animals really well, that's probably a good way to start. Uh, just rescue and release with any small animals you can find. If there's a lizard that needs help, just prepare a nice clean cage for it and then just uh, give it a home for a while until it's healed feed it whatever they eat figure out what they eat feed them whatever they eat and I but I also have done small snakes and I've also found very sad dead snakes that were in the water and they just didn't make it and uh, so that is very sad. But I, I also have rescued some snakes. I think I've rescued two snakes. No, one snake from my pool. And I didn't feed him mice because at that point my mom was like, no, no mice. Not at all. No. But, um, yeah, I do rescue and release. So if you want to help animals, like, really well, just be a part of nature. Help them around. Help them out. Um, doing rescue and release for just any kind of animal is really good, even if it's just bugs, just reptiles, just snakes and stuff, I suggest you do, uh, rescue and release. Um, it's really fun doing rescue and release, but sometimes it can be really sad if you get attached to the animal. I, I suggest you don't keep it for too long after he's healed, maybe a day after he's healed, to just make sure he's going to be fine. 
see if he can get his own food on his own, get his own water, know where his hut is and everything. This way, he, he you know he can find food out in the wild. You know he can find water out in the wild. And you for sure know he can figure out how to hide in the wild. Those are basically the three main things to rescue and release. I'm going to be doing another video on rescue and release. So don't worry. I'm going to be doing another video later today, actually. That's going to be about rescue and release only. It's just going to be a rescue and release video. Um, if I can maybe find a rescue and release video. Uh, if I can maybe find an animal to rescue and release today. Um, I maybe will. Because t today is like the day that I'm going to be doing rescue and release uh, video. So hopefully I can find an animal to rescue and release. Or R and R rescue and release. But, you know, uh, this guy's getting a little crazy, so I'll see you in my next video, guys.